How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this boot review of the Puma Future 7. These are the ultimate editions and can be worn on FG and AG pitches, the likes of muddy ground, firm ground, real grass pitches, and also of course artificial grass like 3G, 4G. Best is to always use it as we always recommend out of the box, one to two weeks minimum, minimum of a week, and then two weeks use of your own training with your by yourself or with a few friends, just getting used to the boots itself, for the material on the outer to soften up as well, and then just for your feet up to mold into the boots itself as well. So this will help in terms of just you to get used to, you know, the touch for the ball, shooting, passing, and then you can take it into team training and matches after the two weeks, once you've broken into the boots itself. Of course, there are some people that have commented they like to use it straight out of the box, and um, that's fine too. But this is just our recommendation from our end. We always find that in terms of small details, performance is much better than using it straight out of the box in like a team training or match. Maybe it's just kind of a psychological thing. But for most of the times, the most everyone in our team have felt that it is best to use it out of the box after two weeks. Then you take it into team training or matches. We wouldn't recommend you guys wearing this on like hard ground or 2G. Some people ask for like sandy pitches as well, which is much as like 2G, much flatter ground pitches. The plastics on these will break very easily and also you can slip around or injure yourself. So it's much more ideal to wear on uh, 8G, 3G, 4G. And if you want to wear it on 2G, go for the turf editions of these Puma Futures, which is available right now on the Ultimate Editions, or you can get also the Match Editions as well. So do look out for it on the Puma Store or Puma app. Now, when it comes down to sizing, these Puma Futures are one of our favorites in terms of very accommodating for all feet types from narrow to the other end of the spectrum of wide and very wide feet. So if you have narrow to normal feet types, we recommend going anywhere from a half to one size down from your usual Puma footwear sizing, just because there is a lot of space in the midfoot and toe box area. It's much more of a wide boot. 
and also if you take off the laces and you want to go laceless then it's going to be even much more space so you want to get a boot that's a bit smaller so it gives you that tight and snug fit when you decide to wear it without the laces because this is a nice option that the Puma Futures have done where you can choose if you want to go laces or laceless so it's a very nice nice design from Puma. If you have very narrow feet, go up one full size down. Narrow to normal feet, go half size down just to get that nice tight and snug fit towards your overall feet design. For wide feet, we always recommend just going true to size. There's actually no need to go half size up because of the extra width on the midfoot and toe box area. There's just a lot of space overall, so there's no need to increase sizing. And the same applies for very wide feet. You don't really need to go a half size up. Um, but if you feel like it's still too tight or too snug when you decide to wear the laceless boots or laceless boots, then you can go a half size up. Um, but we've tried it, for, especially from a few players in our team that have very wide feet. They don't even need to go a half size up. Um, they just go true to size of their usual Puma footwear sizing and it feels nice and snug and tight and very, very comfortable. In terms of durability wise, on the older colorways of the Puma Future Ultra Ultimates, very, very nice. It's been a year, um, not, no major issues, no breaks or rips or tears. Only little thing is they, there's a little, some, on some of them, there's a bit of cuts on the collar bit or the sock bit at the top. So do look out for that. And that's not from themselves, it's just from being tackled. Um, so it just had a little bit of rips or tears, so minor little damages. Apart from that, the upper on the toe box area, there's no um, ripping between the two of the sole and the, the material on the top. So that's going on very strong as well. And they've been wearing on AG and FG pitches as well. So um, there's not been any major damages on, on the boots itself. So in terms of durability wise, it's going very strong and we highly recommend it to people that have the budget that's willing to pay you know 200 to 220 euros or pounds for the new boots. And that will last them at least two years in, for, for when it comes down to these boots. Now, of course, there are going to be some, you know, factors such as like being tackled or um, wearing them all the time and then they may only last one season or maybe half a season. So if you're like a pro player that's playing it a lot, then you may need to get two, two pairs of the futures. But usually these will last you at least a year and two years before you need to upgrade or get a new pair. From our end, these are very reliable pair of football boots and we highly recommend them to anyone in any position. Just got to find the right sizing to get your to get the right comfort. If you have a pair of these yourself, also make sure to leave a comment down below in terms of what you think. Um, we've had these for you know a year now and it's, it's been released anyway for a year or maybe more. And yeah, they're very reliable and going very strong. So from our end, we only have very positive things to say about these boots. And we, we look forward to when they bring out the new Futures or whichever name they'll name it in a couple months time when Puma bring out the new ones. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please continue to leave this video a like and to subscribe to our channel. And we'll continue on to make reviews and unboxings for you in the near future. All the very best and take care.